Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaima, living and working in Germany. And on my channel, I give you information about anything which is related to Germany. And if you already know me, thank you so much for stopping by once again. Today's video is one of those most requested videos. I have got so many requests in last couple of days where you guys asked if I can upload another detailed video on Einbergerung's interview. So you guys asked if it was possible for me to mention the questions which are usually, usually asked during the citizenship interview, which is also known as Einbergerung's Gespräch in German. And I assume by now everybody who is watching my video knows that the German word Gespräch means conversation in English. So basically it is not really an interview in that sense, but rather a conversation where they want to check how good your German is and whether it really is B1, B2 standard. A tip I would like you like to give you here is to really stretch your answers. That means try to speak as much as you can because the interview does last good 40 to 45 minutes and do not rush through your answers. Speak slowly, take your time because if you just give very, very short answers, they will end up asking you a lot more questions because you will be sitting with them for at least 40 to 45 minutes. Now coming to the Einbergerungsgespräch, there are no sample questions to start with. However, there are some questions which are mostly asked. So I will mention those in this video. Usually the questions differ from person to person depending on their CV. First of all, they would always like you to give a brief introduction of yourself. So you can mention your name, your age, your qualification, where you came from, and which city you are currently living in Germany. So you basically have to give a brief introduction of your personality. Then they would usually start with the questions. And one of the questions they always ask is, why do you want to become German or why do you want to obtain German citizenship? So as a reply, you can mention anything which you like about Germany. It can be the law and order here. It can be the living standard. It can be the freedom of speech, of religion, or even the school system of here. So basically anything which left a positive impression on you. And as already mentioned before, while giving your answers, really take your time and talk as much as you can because in such questions you can give multiple reasons why you want to become German and it really kills kills some time from from the interview they also tend to ask what are your impressions about the city you are living in so let's suppose you are currently living in Berlin so the capital of Germany, they will ask you about what you like or did not like about Berlin. So once again, you can literally talk about anything over here. You can talk about the historical places. You can talk about the history. You can talk about the food options. You can talk about the diversity in the city. So you have so many possibilities how you can cover the time. So the answers you can give are limitless. So these are basically the questions they always, always ask. So they do ask about your why you want to become German. They do want to know um, what are your impressions of the city you are currently living in. And they can also ask about if you see any differences between Germany and your homeland. So while <clears throat> doing so, excuse me, they do not want to know about the religion here, but the question is more about the cultural aspect. Because in Germany, there are some topics we never discuss openly about, and religion is one of those topics. So if you have a 
question like what differences do you see between Germany and your homeland you can talk about the food the climate the transport system even school system so the options are limitless they can also ask about your profession so you should be able to explain what you do for a living where you work or maybe which company you have been working with in the past and where you are working right now etc you can also mention your ambitions and goals for the future in this question if you are satisfied with your work or you would like to see some improvement in the future this question is not meant to know your salary because they already know that from the documents that you have previously submitted but it is only that they want to check your language skills so don't hesitate in mentioning anything because it is mainly just to judge your language skills and nothing more than that another thing they do ask is or they usually ask is about your family so whether you are married or not and if you are married um, then they would definitely ask about your date of marriage they would ask about your spouse a little bit if you have children they can even ask about your children they can ask about their birthplaces and um, also the birth, uh, birth dates of course an important thing is that you definitely need to know all these important dates because these can become a trouble for you if you give wrong birthplace or birth dates at the time of your interview personally i know someone who forgot his date of marriage and mentioned the year or the month wrong and it turned out very very badly for him so whenever you are mentioning any dates anywhere in an office in Germany, make sure that they are correct. Especially if you are at the Ausländeramt or the consulate, make sure your dates are correct and you remember them. And the last question they often ask is, if the whole process of obtaining the German citizenship was too easy for you or was it too difficult? So once again, you can mention your about your own experience so that was it for today's video i hope you liked it and i wish you all the very best for your interview and if there are any more questions or suggestions please leave a comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me I highly appreciate it. If you liked the video or these other topics which interest you, give me a thumbs up so that I know that these are the topics you really like. See you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.